Here's your explanation for part one of six. We're going to revise topic sentences to improve our organization structure. And the reason we're doing this is this activity is that should help you see how the big ideas of an essay are supposed to move smoothly and clearly together. Um, so when you're looking at the boxes, you need to see that uh, the first box shows how a student organized is their essay very well. And it's been color coded to show you that, that the structure of that formal essay that it requires. This is a formal and analytical essay and your job as a writer of this type of essay is to keep your reader with you every step of the way. So remember that in between these sentences, there would be further discussion of each point with specific supporting textual evidence quoted, cited, and elaborated on. And at the, each, at the start of each paragraph, you bring your reader back to, to the next main point. So let's look at this. So what you're going to do here is develop topic sentences that uh, for body paragraphs that directly connect with your thesis statement. So here's an example of a good thesis statement. Beowulf is an ancient hero who is brazenly bold and confident, and his adolescent ambition is best understood considering that he is motivated by greedy desires. Okay, so a body paragraph with topic sentences uh, that a significant trait throughout the beginning of this epic poem is Beowulf's boldness. The second crucial trait of Beowulf's is his confidence. Beowulf's traits can be distinguished because of his eager motivation for fame and glory. Okay, so these would all be very good topic sentences that coordinate directly back with our thesis statement. So if you see here blue, this blue, this is the first example, uh, first example, a uh, first character trait in the thesis statement, and it directly correlates back to the first body paragraph. Our second point of our thesis statement directly correlates back with our second body paragraph, and our third point in our thesis statement is directly correlated back with our third body paragraph. So. What you're going to do is you are, for this portion of the assignment, you're going to look at a good thesis statement, and then you're going to look at poor examples of body uh, uh, topic sentences for body paragraphs. So here's an example of how this looks and how you would do this correctly. So you would look at the good thesis statement. In the story of Beowulf, the hero co comes off as powerful and confident and is motivated to gain glory and wealth. So. You would look at this. These are three um, three topic sentences that need to be revised. So it is made clear in the story several times how confident Beowulf is many times through actions. Indeed, he seems to be very strong as he had the ability to go toe to toe with Grendel. Why did he do this? For glory. So these would not be very good topic sentences that you would put at the start of each body paragraph to coordinate with your thesis statement. But here you would write better ones. So here are some examples. So to write topic sentence for, for the reasoning for powerful, we could write Beowulf proves to be a powerful hero throughout his fight with Grendel. And the, the topic sentence that coordinates with uh, confident, the confidence that Beowulf possesses further contributes to his status as a hero. Third, motivated to gain glory and, uh, and wealth. So a third body paragraph could be started with the reason that Beowulf puts his power and strength on display for all to witness boils down to his desire for glory. So that directly correlates back to that third reason. So you wanna make sure that you are presenting these ideas in the order that they're given in the thesis statement as well. So. You're going to look at, for this portion of the assignment, you're going to go and look at this good thesis statement and then look and then write three strong body um, topic sentences, one for each body paragraph. So these were not good. You're going to have to revise these. Okay. If you have any questions, let your teacher know.